up everyone, Neon Designs here, and this is my first tutorial, and what we're going to be learning today is how to make a video outro, and I should have one, but it's kind of crappy, you might have seen it in my most recent video, but if I find it, I will show you guys, you know, what I'm talking about, it's just a basic image at the end of your video. And, um, hmm, right here. Try this over here, but yeah. This is it right here. See, it says previous video, mystery video. And it says Neon's Designs right there. Which, I hope I have that text because I'm going to be using that in this video if I have it. But, right there. Alright, there's the text. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, for your text, you can use a logo or a text like that I'm going to use from Cinema 4D, but a logo would definitely look better. But anyway, let's just go File, New. Um, with 1280 by 720 pixels, background contents white. Alright, so now we have that. Now we're going to come over here to the layers, and we're going to double click on that little lock, and we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to... Go to the blending options and we're going to go to gradient overlay and click this. Come down to here and we're going to make this like a dark gray and double click on the white and make it black. Hit OK and then we're going to go to style, radial, scale 150 and turn the opacity down. Oh. Eighty, I guess, and there. Now we have our background. So now we're gonna go to file. Wait, oh, right click right here, new document. And make it twelve eighty by seven twenty. Same settings as before. Hit OK, and then we're gonna um, unlock the layer like before. We're going to click the paint bucket and select a solid color. Um, I suggest going with, um, it's kind of like a dark blue. So go ahead and fill it. We're going to hit file, um, save as, I'm going to save it to my desktop as video template. And then we're just going to X that out. Alright, so now we're going to go to File up here on the original document, and we're going to hit Place. And we're going to open the video template that we just made. And now as you see, it pretty much covers the whole thing. You're going to hit Shift, hold down Shift, and make it about, um, around that big. And just place the file right there. Now, put it like down in the corner about right here. And then you're going to go to the blending options for it. Make a drop shadow, opacity 100, distance 0, spread 20, and the size, make it 10, and that's perfect. So now we're going to go to the gradient overlay, and we're just going to make turn the opacity down. I'm going to make it I'm going to make it 65. I think that's good. And also you guys can mess around with the gradient um by just clicking over here and just dragging. But I like the default, which is pretty sure about right there. And we're going to hit OK. <coughs> now we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. And we're just going to drag it over here. Now, use the arrow keys to make sure it's perfectly even and it looks just like the other one. So... That's pretty even how it is right there. And now we're just going to get a text. And the text that I'm going to be using is called Homizio, or I don't really know what it's called, but it's a nice looking text. And for your text options, if you don't have this text, you're going to um, use Impact and come over here and make it smooth. And, oh, yeah. So. 
this is going to say previous video. I can't even spell video. <laughs> but actually backspace that. Make sure you have this right here. Select it right up here. Hit enter. And up there, and I'll put video. And hit OK or place it. Now we're going to go to the blending options for the text. Put a drop shadow opacity 100. Now distance 0, spread 20, size 10. And put the opacity down of that. A 45. Hit OK. And actually make the video template just a bit bigger. Or the text layer. Well, text layer, video template doesn't really matter which one. But make the text layer a bit. Be just a bit smaller. And the only reason that I said make the video template bigger, which we should, is so the text looks nicer. But you don't really want the text filling the whole thing. And then we're just gonna delete that recent one, duplicate a new one of these and just drag it over here. And now that we have um, our text, we're gonna center it. And we're gonna duplicate the text layer, drag it over here select the text tool and click in between the letters and backspace and make it mystery video and there now we have our text but make sure the texts are even alright so now we have that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the text so Get your text or logo. Does not matter what you are using. Um, I just made my text in Cinema 4D. I think this is it right here. Alright, yeah, so let's drag it over here. As you see, that's huge. So hit Control T, hold down Shift, and make it about that big. Make sure it's in the center. Get it as centered the best as you can. And just go ahead and duplicate it. Hit control T on it. And make it about this big. Now go back to the original text layer, go to blending options, drop shadow. And make the distance spread in size 0, 20, 30. Just like that. Now select the duplicated one. Get the eraser. I suggest making the eraser 300 pixels. And going under like this. And once you have both of them that done, go to the blending options for the duplicated layer and make it about 40 and <clears throat> now just you know make everything look nice and even but you guys can add any effect you want you can add a subscribe button I mean you can pretty much add whatever you want. Now I'm just going to show you how to make a subscribe button real quick because I'm not going to be um, adding any effects to this. That's 
pretty much up to you guys. You, you know, you can add flares, a texture, anything you want. But make a new layer. Select the marquee tool. Make the subscribe button about this big. Sorry, I, I didn't make, um, I didn't leave enough room for one. But we're gonna right click and go to fill. Make it the same color, about like that. And we're gonna hit select, deselect, right click. Blending options, drop shadow, 100, 0, 20, 10, gradient overlay, opacity, about that big, about 59, and um, yeah, as you see, I did not leave enough room at all for anything, but duplicate one of the text layers. sure it's above that and go to the text layer and just make it say subscribe and that fits perfectly in there so um yeah but I suggest shrinking that up a bit but yeah now you guys add anything you want to this you know, you guys can add some flares coming out of the sides, uh, use the pen tool, you know, make some cool around it. And once you have it done, just save it as a PNG or JPEG and put it right at the end of your videos. And if you to make these clickable, um, go to the annotations and put a spotlight over it or a note or a spotlight. I don't know what one it is, but yep, that's pretty much it. And... Thank you guys for watching this video, expect more tutorials and speed arts, and I'll see you guys later.